Okay, next subject. Nickel in seawater. Uh, well, th there is something known about uh, the nickel transportation because, the, the, um, like, like I discussed in another movie, um, the continents are eroding and elements are washed away from, from the land into the, the seawater. And uh, one of those elements is nickel. And they have some facts uh, about this process, a number, a number of facts. And uh, it shows us that the seas are not millions of years or even billions year of years old. Um, but you have to know some, some, some numbers about this. Okay, um, we know for a fact that, um, that on average the rivers on earth, all the rivers on earth, uh, uh, transport um, 0 0.3 micrograms nickel per liter water to the sea. This is found in W.H. Durham und J. Uh, Hafti uh, in Geochemica e Cosmochemica Acta, volume two, uh, 27, 1963, page 2, uh, and D.A. D. Uh, Livingstone, Chemical Composition of Rivers and Lakes, Geological Survey uh, Professional Paper uh, from 1963, page G48. Uh, um, that's what I found. That's one uh, thing that you have to know. Um, another thing is the total amount of uh, water that is washed into the sea um, by the rivers is um, calculated at uh, 37,400 uh, cubic uh, kilometers per year and the average uh, nickel content of the seawater is 1.7 microgram a millionth of a gram per liter and that is found in chemical geography uh, ED by JP Riley and G Skirov uh, New York Academic Press, Volume 1, 1975, 2nd edition, page 418. And the total water amount in the sea is uh, fixed on 1.35 times 10 to the 21 kilograms. That is found in footnote 31, page 2. Okay, well. So 1.35 uh, followed by 1.35 followed by 21 zeros. No. 135 followed by 19 zeros. Yeah. So, well, um, they estimate uh, another uh, thing that you have to know is they estimate that uh, um, there are uh, is 2 times 10 to the 14 kilogram on uh, manganese uh, uh, balls uh, uh, things are found on the sea and they have an average uh, nickel content of 0.63% and that is, that is what you can find in uh, Eugene Seibold und Wolfgang uh, H. Berger The Seafloor Springer Berlin uh, 1996 page 289 and 293 well they calculate with, with all these, these, these facts they, they, these things are known they calculated that the, the oceans uh, has a maximum age of m a maximum of 300,000 years. And there is no uh, mechanism known that this, this uh, nickel is disappearing um, so uh, rapidly. Um, 
the, the, to, 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 to counter this, to, 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 to wash it away or to get it out of the sea. So a maximum age of 300,000 years. Well, if you uh, include uh, the biblical uh, um, uh, history, then um, th this is very logical if you take in account that there has been taking place a flood, a worldwide flood, which can, uh, which can wash in, in, in no time. A it's, it's, uh, flood is, is uh, uh, stirring up whole ground, etc., 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 and it dissolves a lot of minerals, including uh, a nickel, uh, it, and it can happen in a very short time. So nowadays it appears as if it's uh, 300,000 years but if you include a, a flood-like uh, uh, happening in the past, then these 300,000 years uh, is, is even 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 too much. Um, so, also this this these facts these are scientific facts, folks. This shows us that the oceans cannot be four and a half billion years old. And that tells us something about the age of the Earth. It, 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 it cannot be billions of years old. Because scientific facts show you that uh, things on Earth cannot be this old. And this is just only one element that has been investigated uh, uh, quite deeply. Um, and if you don't believe me, just, just look up these numbers from the, the references I gave and I will show you here above or just below me, I, don't, I have to find that out in a moment. Uh, um, these, these literature uh, sources, you, you can find it out yourself if you don't believe me. Well, okay, that's fine, J just find it out yourself. These are scientific facts published in scientific uh, peer-reviewed uh, um, uh, scientific letters so you can find it out yourself and you can calculate the things for yourself that the oceans cannot be a maximum of 300,000 uh, years old so, so how, how can it be billions of years old so how can the earth be billions of years old it, it, per, it fits perfectly in the biblical time frame including the flood of Noah or at the, the flood of, at the time of Noah which washes away all those minerals in, in just one year. Um, so folks, think, think this over very carefully. And if, if there are no hundreds of, of uh, millions of years uh, and there is no evolution, where do we come from, folks? There is only one solution, that there is a God who created everything, who created you, who loves you, and who wants you to, to have a relationship with Him an intimate relationship with him and that's only possible via, via Jesus Christ science shows you there is no billions of years science shows you there is no evolution you don't you, you are not an exploded bacteria and uh, um, so folks think this over very carefully there is no scientific evidence supporting evolution there is none there are more than one arguments there are a couple of hundreds arguments why evolution is not true okay this is what I wanted to sh share with you uh, I'm going to, to, to give you some other reasons why uh, uh, evolution is not true and uh, but I will do that in the next movie see you then